Hi there, it's Diane the Nursing Geek coming to you from my kitchen because it's the brightest room in my apartment. I was not planning to do a video tonight, but I just had occasion to link someone to a really old video I had done on how to set up a spreadsheet to track your word count for the year. And then I watched it. The spreadsheet is clunky. It's still clunky two years later, uh, two and a half years later, but uh, the video is even clunkier. I will say that this spreadsheet approach is really not substantially better than using a bullet journaling spread. I've just been using the spreadsheet approach for so long that I like it. Also, my bullet journals tend to last about four months. So if I want to have a, a running yearly total, it makes more sense just to keep it all on the spreadsheet because that's just what I've been doing for years. So without further ado, let me show you what that looks like. Okay. So whatever whatever you're counting maybe it's word count maybe it's hours whatever it is um i think word count is what gets the most complicated so that's why i use this for that purpose that that'll determine what headings make the most sense to you if you just look at your whole day's word count as as a whole and you're only ever working on one project at a time, you're not gonna need half of these titles. I have date time because I tend to do a lot of timed sprints throughout the day. Title of the project, which I got rid of just to make the column narrower. Starting word count, ending word count, what that means I actually accomplished for words, and then some various total columns. Whatever spreadsheet for, um, t system you might be using, you'll probably have to format your numbers because spreadsheet programs tend to assume you're doing accounting, so therefore everything must be money, which it is not. Um, here's your number formatting menu, which actually cell formatting menu, which is where you can do some things like tell it how many decimal places you want. This column, I want to be dates and I want them to be in this format with month, date, year. Okay. These, I want to be in format that has no decimal places. which was already the case. And I don't bother with this one because since I put the AM and PM in, mixing numbers and letters means the spreadsheet doesn't see it as a number at all anyway, treats it as a word. Setting it up to actually calculate your um, words, then just means needing to know some basics about how Excel formulas work or whatever spreadsheet program you're using. The easiest one is this. I literally just type in equal sign and then tell it take this minus that, enter, and it gives me a number. And in this case, it just says equal over because of, there was no additional project that day. But on January 2nd, I had a whole bunch of projects. So done over the course of the evening. And so the formula for this, I need to move the little zoom window and hit this sigma here while I'm in this cell where I want my result to go, hit that. 
it's going to try to work with some immediately adjacent numbers. No, I want you to start here and add all the way up to here. And enter, and it'll give me that number. So that's how I would get my daily totals. It's also basically how I get my weekend writing marathon totals. Just add up Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monthly totals, I will just add up everything from the net column for that month. Year-to-date totals, I usually only do at the end of every month. Although apparently for some reason I decided to check in mid February, so let's come down to something a little more current. Generally, it would be something like actually still using the, the net column because I had been doing too many checks in the monthly total column. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah, just sum up everything from here f137 all the way up to the top f2 and that's how i get my year to date it's really clunky as i say it's not that much more sophisticated or really any more sophisticated than pen and paper other than the fact that it is actually saved to the cloud so i can access it on multiple computers and I don't have to carry things over from notebook to notebook. If you've got a better way, if you know of an app, an extension, a plugin, a, a something, please, by all means, let me know in comments because I'd love to know. And a lot of other writers would, I'm sure, love to know too, including the one who asked the question in the first place. That's it for now. Until next time, I hope you have a great night, and I will see you then. Bye.